We begin tonight with a celebration among conservatives, a celebration befitting New Year's Eve in Rio. I was all touched off by this. The city of Chicago, having obtained the least number of votes, will not participate. In a normal country, uh, losing a bid to host the Olympics is seen as a bad thing. That's why all these people in Chicago look so shocked and upset. They've just received what they consider to be bad news. And they're having a normal reaction to bad news. But on the American right, they saw America's loss as their own victory. Oh man, oh man, the worst day of Obama's presidency. Folks, the ego has landed. Please, please, let me break this news to you. Oh, it's so sweet. Chicago rejected for the 2000s. Matt Drudge immediately ran the headline, The Ego Has Landed, World Rejects Obama. The editor at the conservative blog Red State responded to this bad news for the country by writing, quote, World Rejects Barack Obama, No Chicago Olympics. Ha, 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 ha. And the conservative group Americans for Prosperity literally applauded America's defeat. Yeah, America loses. Yes. America lost. Something happened to American conservatism uh, between last year and this year. Steve Bennon at Washington Monthly remembered today that last year when he was still president, George W. Bush met with members of the U.S. Olympic Committee and the Chicago 2016 Bid Committee. President Bush told them this. They say that the Olympics will... You know, come to Chicago if, 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 if we're fortunate enough to be selected. But it's really, it's coming to America, and I can't think of a better city to represent the United States than to sh Chicago. President Bush went on to tell the bid committee something you'd think would be totally uncontroversial. President Bush said, quote, This country supports your bid strongly. You'd think that would be a given, right? That it would almost go without saying. Well, not today, not this year, not with America's conservatives now. The conservative website Newsmax today reacted to the news by tweeting, Chicago pwned, which is internet speak for being humiliated, roughly. Uh, popular conservative pundit Michelle Malkin reacted by writing, quote, game over on Obama Olympics. Next up, Obamacare. The conservative magazine, The Weekly Standard, tweeted, Chicago loses, Chicago loses. And in the article then linked to that tweet, The Standard proudly reported that upon hearing the news that the USA lost its Olympic bid, the magazine's office erupted in cheers. Their office erupted in cheers because our country didn't get the Olympics. Does it work? Oh, that was a big one. It's very exciting, this America losing. All four countries that were finalists today to host the Olympics sent their heads of state or heads of government to make the pitch for their own country. Spain's King Carlos, Brazil's president, Japan's prime minister, they all made appearances before the Olympic Committee, as did President Obama. And after returning from Copenhagen, our president today congratulated the city and the country that won. He congratulated Brazil on their victory. One of the things that I think is most valuable about sports is that you can play a great game and still not win. I believe it's always a worthwhile endeavor to promote and boost the United States of America. Who would think that would become a controversial assertion in this country? Joining us now is Democratic Congressman Danny Davis of Chicago. Congressman, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Well, it's my pleasure. I'm sorry that um, your city and our country didn't uh, win the Olympic bid. You must be very disappointed. Well, I'm disappointed, but also I know that Chicago is the city of the big shoulders. People here have a tremendous amount of resiliency. We'll bounce back. Uh, you know, I was thinking to myself, back when I was a kid, there was a year that the Yankees did not win the World Series. We didn't win the championship every year that we had Michael Jordan. <laughs> but we'll make it. We put forth a good, solid, honest effort. And the results just didn't come out the way we wanted them to. 
I know that a recent poll showed that a huge majority, 84 uh, percent of Americans, supported Chicago's bid, Chicago hosting the 2016 games. I have to ask you, what, you, what do you make of so many prominent conservatives quite literally cheering today when they heard that Chicago lost? It's the strangest kind of patriotism that I've ever encountered. I mean, I am stunned and absolutely amazed that individuals who will wrap themselves in the Constitution, the history of the country, but would express joy and glee because the country did not win the bid for the Olympics. Plus, I've never encountered anywhere in my life where you have a referendum on political leadership based upon whether or not you were able to bring the Olympics to your country or to your city. So I think it's grasping, going way out beyond the pale. And, and I know that not everyone in Chicago, not every, wasn't, it wasn't unanimous that everybody in Chicago wanted to have the Olympics there. I mean, it's, it is a huge undertaking for, for any city, and so it comes with any, any measure of controversy. But I actually wondered today if you felt like that reaction on the right, people cheering against Chicago, conservatives rooting against Chicago, might end up unifying Chicagoans, uh, if only in defense of their own city and their own reputation. Well, I think that's going to happen. Chicago is a great city. We are proud of the effort that, that our mayor and the committee put forth. We are pleased that our native son went on the line himself, and he and the first lady of our country went and made a pitch, but it just didn't work. The odds were kind of against us. You know, the fact that there had never been the Olympic Games in South America I suspect that that weighed very heavy in some of the decisions that some members of the group who had the opportunity to vote took. And so we just couldn't overcome that. Do you think that President Obama would have been criticized today if he hadn't personally pushed for the Olympics? Well, I think it's six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Had he not gone, then people would have said, well, you know, if Obama had been there, <laughs> it might have made a difference. You can't win but for <laughs> it losing. It would have been just That's the opposite. Right. <laughs> That's right. Congressman Danny Davis, uh, Democrat of Chicago. Congressman, thanks very much for joining us. A tough day for Chicago, but uh, your optimism about and the resilience of your city is, I think, part of the reason that Chicago had such a good shot. Thank you, sir. Thank you.